In this video, I'll show you the four ways that I use TickTick on my mobile phone. Now, I use Android, so I have to apologize to all of you iPhone users, but I won't be covering iPhone today, only Android. But I'll show you which widgets I use and how I track my habits on my mobile phone. Hello, I'm Joshua Best. All right, so the first way and primary way that I use TickTick on my phone is right here on the home screen. You can see I've got a widget set up which has the today view. And that's primarily how I use TickTick on my phone. So anytime I pick up my phone, I can see what tasks I have to do today. And I also have this sorted by um, priority. Just in case I'm using priorities, I can mark something as a high priority and it'll float towards the top of the list. And if I have something as a lower priority, it'll go towards the bottom of the list. And that way I can quickly see what I have to do today and what's most important that I do today. Also, if I want to see the details of a particular task, I can just click into it and it'll bring up the details and I can add description. I can add comments. I can change the priority if I want to all within uh, this widget and I can back up and it takes me right back to the home screen. I can also mark things as completed right here. So let's say that I've submitted my expenses and I want to mark those as complete. And I can quickly do that right here from the widget. So you might be wondering, how did I set up this widget? Well, let me just go over to a blank home screen and I'll show you. So I'm on Android. I'm not sure exactly how iPhone works, but on Android, you long press on the home screen. That brings up the widgets. Tick Tick is obviously towards the bottom because it's in alphabetical order. And you can see Tick Tick gives you a wide array of different widgets to use. So a lot of different ones. Uh, the one that I use is the standard one. So I just long press on it, drag it to my home screen, and it presents you with a couple different options that you can choose from. The first one is the list or tag that you want to have visible. So I pick the today view up towards the top. Uh, my sort is by priority. Again, just in case I want to mark something as a higher priority, then it shows up towards the top of the list. I also hide the due date. Since I'm looking at the today view, all the due dates are gonna to be today, so that information becomes redundant. I don't need to clutter up my screen with uh, a due date that's all the same. I leave show completed as not visible. Again, I don't like to clutter up my screen with, with certain things. If I wanna see the completed tasks, I can just open up the app itself on my phone or I can bring it up on my PC and look at it. But on my home screen, I only wanna see what I have left to do today. And I also leave the show details unmarked because again, I don't wanna clutter up my, my screen. The other thing I do is I mark my opacity as, as 0%. Uh, I like it to be blended in with my background, if you will. Once you notice my background is black, uh, then I just resize this to fill up my screen a little more. And so that way I can see all the tasks that I have. So that's how you set up that widget. The second way that I use TickTick is also a widget, but you might not have noticed it on my home screen here. It's actually the middle icon on my home row. So it looks like the TickTick -tick app, but it's actually a widget and it's the quick add widget. So when I click on it, it just prompts me with what would you like to do? Basically, this is a quick way to add tasks or ideas to TickTick. -tick. So I might say this is a thought. And generally, that's all the information that I input into this. And I will say that most of the time when I'm using this, it's on the nights or weekends when I'm not at my computer. On the weekends, I usually have my phone and if something comes to me, I quickly just tap that widget and input the thought and hit send. And I don't mark anything else. But when I sit down on my computer, usually Monday morning, that's when I'll go through my inbox, any ideas that I've captured throughout the weekend, I'll organize them, I'll put them in their proper list, I'll tag them, set a priority if needed, and add comments, a due date, etc. But when I'm capturing it, all I do is capture it, and I do it with that quick add widget. And again, that's a standard tick tick widget that you'll find. So if you go into the widgets, scroll down to tick tick. Uh, if you scroll over, I believe it's called tick tick shortcut. And if you long press on it, drag it to your home screen somewhere. It will ask you, what do you want this widget to do? So I have it set to new task. You could also have it set to search or to view a list. A uh, new task makes the most sense to me. And then where do you want to add that task to? I always leave it as inbox. So I leave this as the default. 
So the third way that I use Tick Tick on my phone is actually within Chrome. So if I'm browsing the web and I happen to come across something, I can highlight. So this is uh, agoraphobia was a definition I looked up this morning, uh, but I can highlight the definition. And let's say I want to add that to Tick Tick. I can share that. On my phone, I've got to scroll all the way over to the right to the more option and then add to Tick Tick comes up and I just say add to Tick Tick. It captures the text that I highlighted and also provides a link to the web page that I was on. And again, it adds it to the inbox. So a lot of times if I'm on Wikipedia or, you know, looking up something that I want to capture, I just highlight the text and use that add to Tick Tick functionality. So the fourth and final way that I use Tick Tick on my phone is within the app itself. So let me open up the app here. So you can see that down towards the bottom, which Tick Tick calls a tab bar, I only have tasks and I have habits. And that can be configured up here in the settings. So within settings, the top item is tab bar. If you click on tab bar, you can either turn on or turn off the various functionality within Tick Tick and it'll show up on the tab bar. I only have habits selected. Tasks is on by default. So what other views do you wanna have besides tasks on your tab bar? For me, I only wanna see habits. I like to keep things simple, especially on my phone. So let me back up to the main view here. So tasks is the main view, but if I click over on my tab bar to habits, that brings up my list of habits. So if I'm logging a habit right now, I would just quickly tap it and say, well, I ate reasonable today. Let me mark that habit as completed. More than likely, I don't mark my habits for today. I mark them for yesterday because, for example, reading. I might set my phone aside for the night and try not to look at it and pick up a book. And so I might read 10 or 15 pages before I go to sleep, but I don't want to pick up my phone and blind myself with the light and find Tick Tick and, and log it. But what I'll do is the next morning I'll come in, I'll pull up my habits on my phone. Let's say I want to mark reading. I just swipe up on this arrow and I can pick yesterday. So yesterday was January 9th. And I might say that I read 15 pages yesterday and save it. And so now I've logged it for yesterday. But if I did want to log something for today, let's say I drank another can of seltzer water. That's 12 more ounces of water for today. I just click on it, add my 12 ounces, and I've marked that habit. And so that's kind of the final way that I use Tick Tick on my phone is the habit tracker. Well, that wraps up this video. I've shown you how I use Tick Tick on my phone, and hopefully you've got some ideas on how you might use it on yours. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.